guys, this is Nick. I'm going to be installing this uh, Rix Motorsports Electric uh, Stator and Rectifier Regulator Upgrade. To a, so it's a full wave uh, Stator and Rectifier Regulator from a single phase. So you get a lot more power. On my bike, I'm running the Pamco. Um, new coils. And I'm running a 55 watt halogen light um, so I want to keep all that going um, and charge my battery don't want to get stuck on a long ride so I opted to go with it um, just looking at I haven't started the install yet I've just been wrapping my head around the electrics and I the hard part was just figuring out that it was actually easier than I expected uh, you always expect things to be quite difficult. This is just surprisingly uh, easy, really. So, as the instructions say, install stator. Well, that's that there. Now, of course, if you read online, this doesn't have a timing mark. So what I'm going to do myself is uh, use my Dremel and put a very small incision where I, the timing mark should be. Um, okay, electrically disconnect uh, the existing rectifier regulator from the bike. Um, install mount new regulator rectifier. Uh, be sure the battery is sufficiently charged, of course. Electrically connect new rectifier regulator as follows. So, in this case, I've got two black wires coming from the stator and two yellow wires coming from the regulator rectifier. Pretty simple. So you could as follows. So yellow or black stator wires. So in this case I have black stator wires. Two yellow reg rectifier regular wires in order. Um, and then from there you simply connect the red wire to the battery, the green wire from the regulator rectifier to the negative, and all other electric, electrical uh, connections should be the same. So that's pretty simple. It doesn't get much easier than that. So uh, that's these two yellow from the regulator rectifier going to the two black from the stator. Pretty simple. Surprisingly easy. And um, So, just got to take this whole area off and run the new wire up. And from what I can see, basically, this kind of ends up getting disconnected. Um, now, I'm going to have to just see. Oh, um, I know there's a, a neutral switch that you've got to retain, so I've got to figure out how to. Uh, uh, retain that with the I don't know I'm pretty sure it comes in through this harness here but these uh, like I can already disconnect the two uh, regulator wires and that's that's the uh, regulator oh, it's really dark in there um, so that's that disconnected I've already disconnected the uh, Good lord, that's uh, dark. I see that. Um, the regulator uh, harness. And it's so simple, actually. It's just surprisingly simple. So just got to... Um, I had uh, the, or, uh, the Oregon one, the uh, solid state rectifier, and that did give me a little bit more power. I, I've gone for some decent rides and have been able to, uh, you know, do the rides and I've actually been okay but uh, I just want to be sure I, I need power um, and uh, so this little guy is getting taken out I'll actually be selling that on eBay if anyone wants it but uh, um, it's I just it's almost too simple <laughs> so anyways I will do some other videos as I go along all right guys okay, okay so now I'm at the point where I've taken some taking things apart so you have to take off your clutch cover 
and you have to take off this part here. So you may or may not have to replace your gasket. Mine is not so bad. I probably could have reused it, but I just so happen to have a good spare one. So, uh, so yeah, to take off your stator, you can see that these three screws right there simply hold it in. And I'm going to take mine off now, and I'll come back. For reference, this is the back side of the original stator. There's the front. As you can see, the timing mark up there. All right, I just got the uh, Ricks stator in, and wow, does it look nice. Um, so yeah, so now it's just a matter of connecting things up a bit, but getting there, it's looking very nice. So more come. Okay guys, so I have actually installed it. It's done. I have the uh, stator in. That's the new wire there now. So where I'm at right now is I got to uh, just make it clean it up, but that's where I've installed the rectifier and uh, rectifier regulator that is. And really this install couldn't have been easier. Um, the only thing I'm left with now is you can see this is where the old adapter is for the, uh, the old uh, rectifier. And then this is the adapter for where the rest of the wires went in, uh, which I've kept this. Now, so where I'm at, this is the neutral light. So we just literally just disconnected every other wire. Sorry, that's a little out of focus, that's better. Um, and uh, so what I'm gonna do is tomorrow I'll get some uh, heat shrink wrap, uh, wrap um, electrical, uh, you know, heat uh, heat shrink, and uh, put that on there, and then simply tie wrap it on to the new uh, stator wire. When I get that done, then I will clean all this up so that it's nice and tight and looks good. Um, and uh, yeah, so other than that, I, I don't want to try it out because it's a bit late right now, um, but I'm sure it will just work just fine. But yeah, you end up reducing a lot of wires. Um, you can just see like everything's just a much better quality. I like having the uh, a high quality voltage regulator, so I'm uh, keeping my battery in good condition. Uh, same with the rectifier and then the stator. So, you know, I can cons uh, confidently run that 55 uh, watt halogen light, and then also, um, you know, have plenty of power, so it's not sucking juice away from even my ignition or something like that. So. You know, this will actually probably add horsepower to my bike. So, uh, you know, especially uh, the higher RPMs and gosh, even at idle, really, it'll get a better, more consistent idle right from the start and probably even better startup. So, yeah, I got to say I'm pretty impressed. Um, it did take a little bit of time here to do. Not too bad, about an hour maybe. Um, and I took my time, you know, nothing, nothing too hard. Just took my time and enjoyed it and even made this video all within an hour, really. Um, but yeah, so I, I guess I'd highly recommend, or no, I would highly recommend doing this. Um, I guess one of those things for me, this is one of those upgrades that if, you know, Rick's ever stopped making it, you'd probably really regret it. If you're like me and my CB350 is my baby and I love it, uh, this is one part that you got to get, um, you know, and make sure you got it on your bike because it's what, what a difference, like, you know, so. All right, guys. Till next time, so um, the follow-up video will show it running, show my bike running, and then I'll follow up after a ride or two and uh, and see if I notice any difference, with them, which I'm sure I will. All right, bye, guys.